Him, God has exalted. Acts, chapter 5, verse 31. Jesus, our Lord, once crucified, dead and buried, now sits upon the throne of glory. The highest place that heaven affords is his, by undisputed right. It is sweet to remember that the exaltation of Christ in heaven is a representative exaltation. He is exalted at the Father's right hand, and though as Jehovah, he had eminent glories, in which finite creatures cannot share, yet as the mediator, the honors which Jesus wears in heaven are the heritage of all the saints. It is delightful to reflect on how close Christ's union is with his people. We are actually one with him, we are members of his body, and his exaltation is our exaltation. He will give us to sit upon his throne, even as he has overcome, and has sat down with his Father on his throne. He has a crown, and he gives us crowns too. He has a throne, but he is not content with having a throne to himself. On his right hand, there must be his queen, arrayed in gold of offer. He cannot be glorified without his bride. Look up, believer, to Jesus now. Let the eye of your faith behold him with many crowns upon his head. Remember that you will one day be like him, when you shall see him as he is. You shall not be so great as he is, you shall not be so divine, but still you shall, in a measure, share the same honors, and enjoy the same happiness and the same dignity which he possesses. Be content to live unknown for a little while, and to walk your weary way through the fields of poverty, or up the hills of affliction. For before long, you shall reign with Christ. For he has made us kings and priests unto God, and we shall reign forever and ever. Oh, what a wonderful thought for the children of God! We have Christ for our glorious representative, in heaven's courts now, and soon he will come and receive us to himself, to be with him there, to behold his glory, and to share his joy. Amen.